Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, for those of you joining for the first time today. Guys, I just wanted to make a quick video before the weekend, and as usual, guys, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get to go and just uh, just enjoy some time off. Football's back, so if you're into football, uh, root on your favorite team. So I'm going to be secretly rooting for the Cardinals this year. Um, I don't think they're going to go anywhere, but, you know, we'll see what happens. The Lions won last night, so who knows what could happen this season, right? All right, guys, let's jump into the video. Guys, like I talked about yesterday, I had a I had a lot of stuff I wanted to read. I had more research that I wanted to do, and I did it. And um, the one thing I just the one thing that I wanted to read before I talked about was the um, over allotment option that that I that was floating around in regards to the equity disperse distribution agreement that was put out. So when you that that's what this is. Is this is the equity. Um, distribution agreement and then when you get when you read through it there's I mean there's a bunch of pages in it right um, but when you get down to the bottom in the terms of the agreement this is where um, this is where some interesting stuff is going to happen I think dear sirs AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc the company proposes subject to the terms and conditions stated herein in the equity distribution agreement dated September 6, 2023, the equity distribution agreement between the company and Citigroup Global Markets, Inc., Goldman Sachs and Company, LLC, B. Riley Securities, Inc., and Barclays Capital, Inc., to issue and sell to all the same companies the securities specified in the Schedule 1 here to the purchased shares and solely for the purpose of covering over allotments to grant to Goldman Sachs and Company, B. Riley Securities, Citigroup Markets, um, the option to purchase the additional securities specified in the Schedule 1 here to the additional shares. Guys, over allotments are usually there during an like the the most common place is during an IPO okay and what happens is is that the I they, they announce the IPO people can pre buy their shares and there's a there's a very large demand for those shares being purchased and so they allow the company to sell extra shares into the market to cover those and so then there's more shares but the price goes up right so essentially when the reverse split happened there was a large demand for purchases right away and it's causing this and it caused this over allotment to happen and so these companies are now they they are now going to get these 40 million shares to cover their over allotments okay um guys before you know before i keep going um hey if you like this information great i'm you know i'm doing my best i'm trying to be here for you guys to just to just read what the document says. Um, I will post a link in, in the description of the document so you guys can go read it for yourselves, right? Like every time that I talk about a document, I post the link because I want you to see it for yourselves. So you know I'm not just like reading something I typed up, right? Or re reading wrong information. You guys can go click on the link below in, in the description and you know check out the document. Um, what I'm reading is, is towards the bottom. Um, where it talks about the terms of the agreement, right? The important part of the agreement. Um, go ahead, hit, you know, like, subscribe, share, so that we can reach more people in our community, guys. This is an awesome community to be in. You guys are great, and I appreciate every one of you. So let's continue talking about, um, about the Citigroup Global Markets. Goldman Sachs, B. Riley, Barclays shall have the right to purchase from the company all or a portion of the additional shares as may be necessary to cover all over allotments made in this is I think this is the important part okay made in connection with the offering of the purchased shares at the same purchase price per share to be paid by Citigroup Goldman B Riley Barclays um, to the company for the purchase shares this option may be ex exercised by 
those companies at any time, but not more than once. On or before the 13th day following the date hereof by written notice to the company, such notice shall be set forth the aggregate number of shares of additional shares as to which the option is being exercised and the date and time when the additional shares are to be delivered, such date and time being herein referred to as option closing date. Provided, however, that the option closing date shall not be earlier than the time of delivery as set forth in the Schedule 1 hereto, um, nor earlier than the second business day after the date on which the option shall have been exercised, nor later than the fifth business day after the date on which the option sh shall have been exercised. So again, guys, the important part is where it talked about the over allotments being in connection with the purchase shares. So this is the purchase shares at the time of the offering or at the time of the reverse split. Okay. That price is much higher than it is now. Okay. That I, I believe that is why we have seen this last few days where the price went down drastically. It's because they're, they're still, they're trying to shake us up. They're trying to scare us and they're trying to make us sell our shares now um, so that maybe they can get away from having to do this as, with, without buying as many shares, right? Uh, the problem is, is that it's not working, okay? It's not working for them. It was never going to work for them because we're apes. We don't know any better but to buy and hold, right? Um, guys, I think... We just really need to stay focused on that right now. Yes, it sucks. Yes, the price is going down. Yes, you're watching your your pro your portfolio get to a lower dollar amount than it has been for a long time. Who knows your situation? It is like it's not my situation. Um, yes, my I'm in the same boat, but I don't know your situation. Is what I was trying to say. Um, guys. Don't let them get in your heads, right? I'm going to talk to you as I'm opening up a couple different things I want to talk about real quick. Um, number one, guys, I think I've mentioned this in the past. I don't think that you can really do technical analysis on this stock. And this is going to get back to where I was just talking about the price and, and that kind of stuff because I'm going to tie this in here. However, um, I watched a video by Ants Trades. And I'm going to like a huge shout out to him. He did an awesome job at showing some stuff uh, about like some technical analysis about AMC and about what's going like kind of where it, what, what it just makes a lot of sense. And it and it shows. Right. Um, I'm going to. It shows this this falling wedge that was back in like 2014, 15. OK, and it shows. There was a there was a run up and then it went down and then a run up and it tested and then it, and then there was it was a slowly falling down it was still running up and then it was in that falling wedge period for a number of years okay right up until about 2021 now 2021 ha comes around and then we start doing and it follows the same pattern right and you see this pattern going up and then down and then it retests and then and then June 2021 or June of 2021 happens and we rock it up. And then now we're, and then it goes back down and then it goes back up and then it goes back into the falling wedge pattern again. It's basically showing that this is a, it's a historic thing that's happened again. And we're now almost retracing that again. We're in that position where the falling wedge is about to end and then we should see the bounce up. Now, believe me when I say I, that, like, I don't know who knows if this is going to happen right who knows if in fact you're gonna see the exact same thing happen again i think it could happen sooner it could happen later who knows but it it's very compelling to see that the similarities that are there okay the other thing to take into consideration is that is dilution okay so in january of 2021 amc diluted shares and the price went up okay we know that yes we the retail traders apes got in and they bought up all the shares right like we all know that we've all been talking about this for a long time but there were shares available because they diluted at the same time like very close to the same time and it allowed the price to go up high 
Then the next time dilution happened was in June, right at the same time as the, the next run up to 72. Okay, guys, it's not always a bad thing. Dilution isn't, a bad, isn't always a bad thing, and I think we need to, to recognize that, okay? So the, the next thing I'm gonna, that I want to kind of quickly talk about is volume, all right? In the same timeline, when you're watching stuff before 2021, volume was very low. It was just low. It was just a, it just traded regular, right? Um, then all of a sudden, 2021 happens, right? And obviously, January, June, we see these two massive spikes in volume. And then the volume has slowly started working its way down. And then it was very consistent all the way across until yesterday and this week, we start seeing that volume spike back up again. Okay, guys, again, just another, another indicator showing that this path is going on again. Okay, now, guys, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I think that MOAS is coming. I think that it's coming soon. I think that time is relative. In my mind, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, it's soon in the amount of time that's going to be left for me after MOAS, okay? Um, and I've only been waiting three years out of my 30, almost 37 years of life in this play, so it's not that large of amount of time, okay? I'm not worried about it. I'm sitting here waiting, watching. I'm enjoying um, people being like it, this might sound like dumb or whatever, but I'm enjoying people being negative about it because it just shows me that we're right. It shows me that we're going somewhere with this. That's not in a, that's not a bad direction for us to be in. People don't, shouldn't care about your investment. If you're blowing your money on something, the right, like in their terms, if you're blowing your money on this dumb investment, why does it bother them so much? Why does it bother them if like it, these these shills, these people throwing FUD, the media, it just doesn't make sense, guys. It really doesn't make sense. So keep that in your mind as you're going forward. Um, just know they don't have any other option. They don't have any other option but to be negative, and we talk about it all the time. And I'm not going to stop talking about it because that's the purpose of this, right? Guys, I'm thinking about how, like doing a live video. I want to like, connect with you guys more than just like in the comments if I can leave me a comment and let me know number one hey if you'd be interested in like checking out a live video with me and two what you want to talk about during that live video all right in my mind like i don't want to just sit here and talk to you i want it to be fun for both of us so i want to do like a cocktail hour where like we chill back we have a you know we we drink a cocktail together whether it's a beer or an old-fashioned or just a pour of whiskey or whatever your drink is of choice um, if, you know, if you don't drink, grab a soda, some water, some tea, whatever you might be drinking. And let's just, let's just take some time and, and just connect with each other and answer questions, talk about whatever you want to talk about. And we'll go from there. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And, and we'll, we'll schedule a time to do that guys. Hey, have a great weekend. Enjoy your time out there and stay positive, stay motivated, stay motivating. Later.